continuing with uh, solving trig equation uh, this is the equation cos of 2x or cos 2x is 0 0.4 and we want to write the answers in in radians so the x should be between 0 and 2 pi so that's the same as saying this is between 0 and 360 okay so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in terms of degrees and then I'll change the answer to radians later into pi okay or as a decimal whichever way is possible so here yeah, cos uh, 2x is uh, 0 0.4 so the first thing that we need to do is we need to know then this 2 tells me that the period of this would be 360 divided by 2 so here this function or sorry this equation of cos 2x is 180 this means within 360 uh, you've got two cycles so this should be kept in mind okay so let us so the first thing that we need to do is find the principal angle or the reference angle so this is what I'm going to do so I'm going to say let so cos principal angle you do a caret sign like this okay this is only a reference angle is cos inverse of 0 0.4 so this is my calculator first uh, go to run and always check your setting if it's in degrees so that's fine so I'll go shift cos of 0 0.4 that is 66 I'm only writing a whole number so this is 66 degrees so this is 66 degrees okay so 66 degrees is the reference angle so let me write the cast formula so this is called the cast formula c a s t c a s t cast stands for cross all sine tan so in the first quadrant everything sine cos and tan are positive so we're looking at cos so cos is positive in the first and the uh, fourth quadrant so we already have an answer in the first quadrant so 66 degrees is the reference angle so I'll draw 66 in the first quadrant and 66 in the this is not exactly to scale so what I'm saying is one answer is 66 in the first quadrant so that's what we've got so there's also 66 in the fourth quadrant okay so this is 66 in the fourth quadrant which in fact should be written as negative so I can say 2 or 2x reference or reference would be uh, say 66 degrees and in, as it, this is in the fourth quadrant so we are talking about this angle okay the, by convention we have to write this angle it's always with respect to your uh, your basic arm also this is the origin O so this is a positive arm so whenever you're referring to the angle it's how much degrees it is with respect to the to the positive arm of the x-axis so the other angle would be 360 minus 66 degrees okay or we can write yeah 360 minus let me write the formula 360 minus the reference angle okay which is so two uh, to x reference is 66 degrees and 360 minus 66 so let me use my calculator so this is 360 minus 66 which is 294 so the two angles is but we want to find only the x so x is half of this that is 33 degrees and uh, half of this which is 294 divided by 2 which is 147 so these are the two angles okay but this is we want the answer from between 0 to 360 so the other angle would be uh, 360 so this other angle would be 33 plus 180 degree which is 
213 degrees and this fourth angle would be 147 plus 180 so let me get the calculator out so it's 147 plus 180 so that is 327 degrees so this is 327 so the answers are so let me scroll up this is 60 33 degrees then you have got uh, 147 degrees then you got 213 degrees and finally 327 degrees so let me check this and finally if you want to change this into radians or pi so this is nothing but 33 pi over 180 this is 147 pi over 180 you can uh, see my previous videos how I changed this into radians. So this is in radians. The next is 213 pi over 180 and finally 327 pi over 180. So let's check this on a calculator. So go to graph and type in cos bracket 2x close the bracket. Okay, so this is two cycles. Okay. So we want to, this is the equation, final equation was uh, cos 2x is 0.4. So we are asking the calculator, tell me the x is where you have got 0 0.4. So you go GSOL and then you go x calc and I'm asking 0 0.4 where is, so 1 is 33.2, that's the first answer. If you scroll this, 146.7, that's 147. The next is 213 degrees and the next is 326, 327. Now if you want to write this in radians, the only thing that you do is you change the setting. If you change the setting to radians and then shift V window, change the radians from 0 to 2 pi. So the answer would be decimal. Okay. And then you go G solve the same thing, X calc 0 0.4. So this is 0 0.579, whatever. So if you go 33 pi divided by 180, it would be this number. The next number would be 2.56, which is, you can check this on a calculator. You go 147 times pi divided by 180 would give you this number, and so on. Okay. Hopefully, this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.